So this is going to be today's project. I am going to go through the pantry, look at expiration dates, see if there is a better place to put some of these things for functionality. I'm not 100% sure what exactly I want to do. I know this type of thing drives my husband crazy because we've lived in this house for 23 years and I'm constantly moving things around. So this is the pantry cabinet and now I'm going to show you some of the kitchen cabinets I want to work on. Alright, so this is our Lazy Susan cabinet and in this cabinet I have some big pots I don't have any place to put, a big George Foreman grill, I have some extra pantry supplies like tuna fish and baking supplies. Um, let's see if I can get a little closer. So down low it's not totally full, mostly baking supplies and just some extra things. Then here's my George Foreman and all of my teas. So I need to go through all of these teas and see what I'm going to keep, what I'm not going to keep. Um, maybe make brownies. Who knows? We'll see. So this is one of the cabinets I want to look at to see if I can do something a little bit more functional with this cabinet. I did start a crock pot meal so we would have something to eat and I did clean out my sink so I could put things in there and I just kind of, I didn't really clean the countertops, I just cleared them off because I'm sure I'm going to have to clean them once I start pulling things out of cabinets. I pulled these things out already. I'm not sure if anyone is going to drink these crystal light items. I don't particularly care to do artificial sweeteners um, but I'm not sure if my son wants them so those are kind of out just to ask him if he wants them. And this is the other cabinet. Let's see if we can get some light that I want to work on. This is like our condiments, our peanut butter, um, hot chocolate, our coffee supplies, and up top is all of my cake baking, cupcake, all that stuff up here. Um, I don't really do that much very, very often, so I may just get rid of a bunch of that stuff or see if Maureen wants it. So I want to go through this cabinet. Um, they're still pretty organized. I just don't know if I'm using them to the best efficiency and then just turn right around to this cabinet. This cabinet I'm going to leave. I've been really happy with this system um, that I did the last time I organized my kitchen. These little bins from the Dollar Tree work perfectly. I can slide this whole thing out and put it on my counter to see what I have. I tried to do like Italian spices, my everyday spices, you know, other things like that, but this has worked really, really well for me. So this cabinet I'm probably gonna leave alone. So, and then I have some cutting boards and down here, I did not have a super efficient kitchen and I, that's probably why I'm always trying to figure something else out. And here are my baking dishes, some extra cutting boards. I may or may not go through this. This seems to work pretty well. Um, as you can see, my husband drilled holes in the bottom of the cabinet and we used some old fashioned clothespins. Um, as the pegs to hold things up. I thought that was a pretty ingenious idea. So for today's project we're just going to kind of be refreshing the organizing systems that work pretty well and just see if I can store things in other places. This is my cleaning cabinet. It's above my microwave. I've had it there since my kids were little and that just seems to work. So I'm going to start pulling things out of cabinets and we're going to get started. All right, so far this is what I have done. I have rearranged the bottom shelf, swept it out really well, took everything out. Um, most of the appliances that were down here are no longer down here. My griddle would not fit in the new spot. Um, so I was able to move some things from this shelf down to this shelf, things that we don't use very often, our extra tea pitchers, griddle, roasting pans, some coolers, and then some of our party supplies. So that is the only thing so far that is technically completed. Um, I am still working through these types of items and our snacks and our breakfast bars. Um, I did kind of reorganize the pasta shelf a little bit so that's what I've done there and I'll show you what I've done in the kitchen. So I emptied everything out and kind of just been placing it wherever I can find a spot on the kitchen counter. So these are the baking items that were in the Lazy Susan. And then I have some expired foods over there that I need to get rid of. Um, so I did rework the Lazy Susan cabinet and I put most of my small kitchen appliances that I don't use that often. Um, my bigger crock pot, my bigger George Foreman, I have my hand mixer, 
my my percolator, my French press, my Ninja blender. Um, I have my smaller George Foreman that I take with me on vacations down low, and a waffle iron that I hardly ever use, but I like to have it. And then I have an electric knife and the pieces to my food processor. So this cabinet is pretty much done. Um, it might be a little too heavy, so I'll have to see how that works out. So I am still going through items and trying to find spots for them and make it all work. So I'm completely finished and obviously Cooper's decided that this might be a good time to explore everything new I've put in here. He knows there's some special something something over there for him and he's looking for him. So anyway, what I have done is I have just sorted my party supplies into different containers made it store a little bit easier um kind of consolidated all of my wraps and my bags <laughs> cooper you're not helping honey um what i did with the tea which i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to leave it here it does take up a lot of space um, i didn't realize just how much tea i had so i had bought these martha stewart like refrigerator trays for i think 49 cents at goodwill a while back so what I did was I stacked them all in there so you can read what the T is. And I just kind of put them all in there. This will slide out with no problem. So you can pull the whole thing out. And then all of my loose teas that, um, not loose teas, but the ones that are pre-wrapped tea bags, I put in that container, which also comes out easily. So this shelf is mostly for like snacks, potato chips, um, like salty things. Um, peanuts and whatnot and then over there I really didn't move the breakfast bars too much still have canned goods here um, I did take some of the things out of the lazy Susan and place them here and then just some like extra little condiments there then this shelf is all of my packets my salad dressings my ranch brown gravy um, different spices are in there and then all of my extra condiments that will not fit in my cabinet and then I have the starches. I have rice and pasta and the tomato sauces and then I just have the extra salad fixins right there. I already showed you the baking shelf and then I still have my party supplies up there. So that is the pantry. Like I said, it wasn't a huge organizational project. It was just kind of a refresh. Um, I did get rid of some things but it was still pretty clean so I gonna see how it works like I said I'm not sure about the tea um, and let me show you what else I did this is the other cabinet that I kind of gave a refresh to I didn't do a whole lot um, I did go through some of the beverages and look at expiration dates and I did get rid of some of those things um, the baking stuff I kind of condensed and I actually did get rid of some of the like sprinkles and sugars and things that I don't use very much because I don't have little ones to bake for and then I kept the crystal light my son said he wanted them so I just slid them up there so I didn't really do a whole lot but I think it'll work better and it's just it looks a little like it has more space it'll be easier to get to things so there is my quick kitchen reorganizing refresh.